What's up, YouTube? I always make these videos and then I'm like, how do you intro? You just say, hey, YouTube? Because <laughs> that's what we're doing today. What's up, YouTube? It has been, it's been a minute since I've been on here and I, I know I haven't really had a lot to, to talk about as of recently and everything that I do is on my IG and in the moment. So I thought that I would come back onto this platform and have a conversation a little bit. Uh, so today, yeah, today I just wanted to walk you through some changes in my life and then I also wanted to, you know, tell you some things about me because I feel like, you know, I talk a lot about other people and their experiences in their lives and how they're impacting their own lives and other people's lives and then, you know, I don't really get a chance to talk about who I am and so I thought I would do that more, more than I did in the first video, just kind of, you know, fun facts about who I am. So we haven't talked in a while. For those that have keeping, been keeping up, I am in an interesting position with, uh, we'll call it career. Um, I, I struggle with the word career. For those that don't know me well, I, if you heard that, that was a hell of a train. Um, well, let's start with that then, I guess, fun fact. I live downtown Calgary. I live uh, about, we'll say, 50 paces from train tracks. Uh, you get used to it. For those that want to live downtown, you get used to it, but sometimes they honk like that and you're just like, we got to do that? Why we got to do that? Especially when you're sleeping. But, so I live downtown Calgary. I have lived in Calgary. I am born and raised here. I haven't left. I actually haven't traveled much either. I'm, I haven't really got the travel bug yet, but as I've switched and transitioned into you know, my lifelong dream, uh, that will come to fruition. It will. Traveling will be a massive part of my life. And the reason being for those that have and may haven't been keeping uh, track of my life and keeping up on my Instagram, I really want to be, no, okay, I'm going to rephrase. By the way, when you tell somebody where you want to be, if you say that you want to, you, it means you already aren't going to be. You need to say that you will be or that you already are. So for me, I know I'm not a life coach, but long term, I know for a fact, I know that I will be Tony Robbins 2.0. If you don't follow Tony Robbins, you are insane. He is one of the most influential people in the world and is making massive impacts, not only in people's lives in regards to coaching and support one-on-one -on -one and hiring other coaches to support people and training them how to do it, you know, how it's best done. He's also making impact across the world, across the globe, in third world countries. He is doing incredible things. So follow him. He's my biggest mentor and I will be a form or a version of him one day. I can't be him because I'm not him, but I can be a lot like him and I can still be myself and put my own spin on things, my own personality, my own vision, my own goals, my own dreams. So Tony Robbins 2.0, for those that have been asking recently, you know, where do you see yourself in the future? That's where I'm going. I'm going for it. But with that comes traveling, so it will become a part of my life. But for now, I reside in Calgary, but I am free to live wherever at this point. So there's fun fact number one. Uh, life update, back to that. You know, I came from a restaurant job of seven years that I did leave and I have been kind of through and through jobs since. And there's a reason behind that. So I've tried a couple different things out and I've explored a couple other options. And one of them was retail. For those that have worked retail, uh, I'm sure you can appreciate how I hated every second of it. It wasn't my cup of tea. I did it when I was younger, didn't really comprehend what I was doing there. I was just kind of living, I was young. And now that I'm more conscious of where, my, where I am, my surroundings, who I am surrounding myself with, unfortunately that wasn't the environment for me. Just a lot of toxicity, a lot of complacency, and unfortunately it didn't help me. And the energy there, I couldn't bring up with my own energy and I couldn't, I, I knew I couldn't match their energy either. I couldn't bring myself down. So I decided to leave uh, really quickly. Day one was an anxiety attack. Uh, I couldn't believe it. I was frantic, frantic. 
And so for those that have started a job and have felt that way day one, there's a reason for that. The energy there is telling you this isn't where you're supposed to be. There's something wrong in, for you. Not necessarily with the business, but for you. So if you feel that way, if there's something missing, if you don't feel that you're in the right spot, it's probably time to leave or work on an exit plan. And if that means after day one, you're already working on an exit plan, then so be it. That's life. You don't need to be stapled down to one place or one position or one career. Life is forever changing. So sure enough, unfortunately, four months later, fortunately for me, for, unfortunately for them, I didn't you know, want to put them in that situation. I left and I found another job. Now, don't judge me, but I went back to the restaurant industry. However, I am now strictly a bartender and I've got an interesting, a lot of the different perspectives on me getting into that. Uh, a lot of positive, um, some negative. People don't quite understand why I would do that. But for an explanational reason, I don't want a career in the restaurant industry. In fact, I don't really want a career at all. Um, life coaching isn't necessarily my career. Um, I want, because career has come to an end. Careers are something you do until you're 65, 70 years old and you retire. What I want to do for the world never stops. It doesn't come to an end. I want to change the world. I'm not quite sure what that looks like, but that's what I want. I want to be able to help and provide people with anything that I possibly can. And if the smallest conversation with me helps transition anything, then that's my hope. I am just going to give and give and give and hope one day that it provides value to people out there. Tony Robbins 2.0. Okay. So, um, <clears throat> so yeah, so I, I'm bartending now and I am a boxing instructor, kind of like a spin class, but for boxing, uh, here in Calgary. And I'm continuously building my, I've struggled with the name of this. Um, I'm not classifying myself as a life coach, but I do provide a lot of knowledge. I do put a ton of effort into understanding you and myself. I have to understand myself first before I can understand you. And I've just put a lot of time and effort into self-educating in order to help and provide and give back to everybody else. What I've decided to do with that is I've built a business um, called, and it's called Feel the Rush. So my last name is Rushton, called Feel the Rush. And it is a coaching platform. And I will call it an expertise, my niche. That's a better word, niche. My niche is leadership, mindset, lifestyle, and personal development. So I help in a lot of different areas of life and I provide support and I provide accountability, which a lot of people are looking for. The biggest reason that I started this was because I found that I needed to make a ton of changes in my life and that I wasn't happy. There was a lot of things that I wasn't okay with. My routine, day to day, I would sleep all day, go to the gym, go to work. That's it. I structured my life around the basis of time which I've now removed for the most part. I don't want to focus on it anymore. I wasn't really focused in the gym anymore. I didn't feel athletic anymore, which I grew up playing soccer. So fun fact, I love soccer. It is a passion, 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 passion. I love soccer. If you don't love soccer, that's okay. We can still be friends, but wow, do I love soccer, okay? I grew up playing since I was seven. I love the sport. I kick a ball around the house all the time. Um, and it's just, it's just where a lot of my passion lies. I was going to play uh, at the highest level possible, um, but I chose to pursue other things in life. It's a whole different video. We're not going to talk about that today. Um, but yeah, so I don't even, I was talking about life coaching and stuff. Anyways, so that's what, I'm, that's what my business is built on. That's what I am hoping to provide is accountability. Oh, that's where I was going. Accountability. People are looking for that. And I know that that sounds weird. Like I don't need someone to hold me accountable. What I've learned through the process of this coaching business and talking to peer, my friends, peers, new people is that one of the biggest successes they've had is the amount of people that they've met and the support they provided. Now it doesn't have to be in the platform that I, I have um, readily available, but I know that there is a massive need for people to find themselves and to have love for themselves. And I am not here to tell you what to do. I am simply here to help you realize how much more there is to your life. 
So that's what my business is based out of, is to hopefully get you to maximize your life and to realize there's a lot more than just day to day, job, 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 career, retire, hopefully have enough money, focusing on money. Like there's, there's so much more to life than all of those things. So that's where I'm at with that. Also, I run a clothing company. I know, it's super weird. I just got out of retail. Why would I stay in retail? I've been part of this company called Andra Athletics for two years. Incredible, incredible company. And you know, I don't even like to call it a company. I don't like to call it a business. It is a platform for community. It was built to provide community, support, and just general love to the world and to bring people together in an active way. So we always, always, always have give back series. So when we launch products, specific ones, portion of those will go back to our charities here in Calgary. We love giving back. It is the reason we started the company. It has gone through some big changes over the past two years, as most businesses do. However, the basis of the community behind it has stayed strong. And we are still here. We are still kicking it. We are still figuring out how to make this work. Um, Cause we're not just clothing. We're not just an active um, lifestyle wear brand. Okay, that's what we provide to help people. But however, we like to provide more for the community instead. So I've been a part of that for a while. I am actually one of the co-founders of that. So I have a lot going on. All of that is currently what I do day to day on top of reading, listening to podcasts, um, YouTube videos. Um, yeah, there's a lot. There's a lot happening in my life. On top of it all, I've made some pretty aggressive changes just to my personal day to day. So the reading has increased massively. Um, I actually have a reading club um, or book club on Facebook. If you wanna join, uh, comment below. Every four weeks, every month, we're gonna switch up a new book. We're actually coming up on a switch right now. We just finished reading or about to The Four Agreements by Don Miguel Ruiz. Incredible book, but we're just finishing up that. We're gonna to toss in a new one right away here. And the purpose of the book club is to bring reading back. People don't like to read. They overanalyze reading. And you know, we used to do it as a kid all the time. I remember that uh, in class, you if you read a book, you got like, a, like an apple that I think said your name on it. And it was like a cater, it was like a body of a caterpillar. Oh, it was, cat it was just a circle, not an apple, apple. And it just went up on the wall, all around the room. And you, that was where all the books that the class read. Phenomenal. You get stickers if you read at home, if your parents you know, said that you did read. Reading was a huge part. And then we grew up and started to hate it. We didn't provide value in it anymore. There wasn't the quick value. The crazy part is, is that if you find a book that, you know, we'll call them self-help books, if you find a book like that, the first chapter that's your instant gratification. There's so much to these books and so much to learn. So I started the book club to provide people a platform to feel comfortable or more comfortable about reading and to be a part of a community that wants to self-educate, wants to learn and wants to grow. So if you're interested, let me know. Uh, it is accessible to the world. Anybody can join this book club, okay? Thanks for all that already in it. Uh, so I started a book club. Um, I also massively changed my diet. So fun fact, I'm working my way, working my way, working meat out of my diet. So I'm not vegan. It's an interesting concept with a lot of these terms. Um, I appreciate the vegan lifestyle. However, um, one of the biggest reasons that I've chosen to remove meat from my life is the way that it's produced. There's way too much in it, especially mass production. If you go outside of mass production, um, well, you know, there's still animals being killed. However, there is, you know, a lot less toxins and crap being put into the animals' bodies, but it's like triple, double the price, at least. Financially, that just doesn't work for me. So I've decided to focus more on nutrients, finding nutrients in my day-to-day -day fuel. So a lot of veggies, a lot of rice. Um, I have not cut out carbs and I never will, fun fact. I love carbs. Muffins, get them in me. You know, I, I know, I know it's dairy, I get it, I know. Muffins, I love. We're not gonna talk about that, that's just too much love. Um, muffins, bread, uh, any carb, toss it my way, I'm downing it. But that's a huge part of my diet. Uh, I found a lot of plant-based, uh, we'll call them burgers, plant-based meat, plant-based burgers, uh, which I love. 
a and w in canada finally sells beyond burgers get on it a lot of nuts and just a lot of healthier options that provide me with proper nutrients done a lot of research and a lot of different you know investigations on what this does and for me i feel way better back to the whole vegan thing if i feel next week on a tuesday that i want a pizza guess who's getting a pizza this guy absolutely getting a pizza it's a carb obviously but i love pizza and i don't want to restrict my life i appreciate how i feel when i improve the things i'm putting in my body i notice massive massive differences for those that are curious about it i promise you it's worth it um but on top of that uh i just i just don't want to label i don't feel the need to label everything in the world you don't need to label yourself just live if you want to live healthy live healthy but if you want to go have a, a pizza go have a pizza like it's all about moderation but you're still free to live your life so live it you know live love laugh uh i laughed i don't want to talk about it uh yeah my life is crazy and there's a lot of changes and a lot of good changes and it's on a really good road and i'm really excited that you're all here for this and I want you to know that support goes either way. So if you ever feel the need to reach out, please do. And I will vice versa. This platform on YouTube is incredible. I haven't posted in a while just with, you know, IGTV coming up, Instagram being just a little bit bigger in regards to the way to build um, my business. But I wanted to get on here. Oh, fun facts. Well, fun facts about me. Uh, for those that watched the first video, you know, we're going to quickly fun fact. My mom had me when she was 15 years old. I don't have enough love and appreciation for the way that I was raised and the person I've become. That's all I have to say about that. Well, there's a lot more, but we're not going to talk about it today. She is an incredible woman. If you got a chance to meet her, you are in for an incredible meeting. Incredible. Uh, another fun fact. Uh, oh, I just had one on the tip of my tongue. It's a weird statement, tip of my tongue. Uh, I love coffee. Whoever doesn't love coffee is crazy. I also put MCT oil in my coffee. It slows down the process of caffeine and makes it last longer for those that are curious. Um, I love sports. I love soccer. I love basketball. I can watch tennis. People think I'm crazy. I could watch ping pong. I could watch golf. You know what? Throw some darts on TV. Have you watched darts? They love darts. Wow. It's a party. I want to go. I don't drink, but oh, fun fact. I don't drink. Uh, if I do, it is a rarity. I grew up without alcohol in my life at all. My parents never did it. I never found a need to it. Uh, maybe it was a control thing, but I just don't enjoy the feelings of it. And, uh, you know, fun fact, it's the number, it's the number one, uh, worst drug for you in the world. Google it. It's worse than cocaine. It's bad. So I'm not judging anybody. If you want to drink, power to you. I'm not here to tell you not to drink. It's a personal preference of mine. I don't enjoy it, so I choose not to. If I want to have a glass of wine, though, I will. So I'm not telling you that um, I never, ever drink. If I said that, I may have just 10, 20 seconds later. I just don't enjoy the feeling of it. But if I choose to have a glass of wine here and there, I will. But you put a shot in front of me, unfortunately, I'm not going to take it. I appreciate the jester. I understand why you feel the need to buy me alcohol as a form of appreciation. I get it. It's a societal norm. <clears throat> but uh, I, you know, I just want a glass of wine and I'm good. So that's, you know, that's what I enjoy. I enjoy eating healthy. I go to the gym. I've competed twice in my life. Uh, I placed third. It was provincially qualified. I mean, it was an incredible experience. I won't be doing it again. Um, in an effort to reduce the amount of judgment in my life that's uh that's a toxic environment for that so i choose not to go back into it anymore um yeah that's fun facts about me i'll probably have more one day i feel like there's so much more to tell you but you know this is a rant now this is to, this is a long video i appreciate you getting this far you are incredible if you ha haven't already please follow me on ig uh, at feel the rush uh, dot co I couldn't get just at Feel the Rush. It was taken, so I just ran with it. Uh, it worked for the company. Uh, so follow me on there. Like this video if you enjoyed it, if you find some value in it. 
Um, and thanks so much for following along. Thanks for the followers that are still here. You are incredible. And I love you all. Enjoy your day. Make the most out of your life. I promise you there's so much more than there is to it right now. And, uh, you know, this is just the beginning. Love you all. I'll see you in the next video. Ciao.